Hey guys, this is Elias with Sofly, and today I'm gonna show you how to export Jet Engine text fields using WP All Export. Now, guys, we have other videos where we dive more in detail about how to export other kinds of fields using some real world data. But for this example, we're just gonna focus on the Jet Engine uh, text fields, which are pretty much the most basic ones. So let's get on with that by selecting the post type we wanna export. And in this case, I have here this jet engine post type, right? So I'm gonna select that, and we have 1000 jet engine post types to be exported. So I'm gonna click on the customize export file button. And here, guys, you can see the main screen in WPL export, which is the export template. Now, this is the box we want to uh, be building our file in. So if I hit preview, you will see the different columns ID, title, and content. I'm going to get rid of the ID and the content fields because we don't need that for this example. And I'm going to focus only on this jet engine section. And here are our fields. Now, guys, if you want to know how this looks here in this uh, post type, I will show you right now. So this is the title and here are the fields I created. So we have a simple text field. We have a date field. Then we have a time field, date time field text area and color picker so this is the data we're gonna export it's pretty simple so uh, let's just drag and drop some stuff here and we have two ways of doing that we could drag and drop a value like so right and if I hit preview you will see uh, your file is taking shape so uh, let me get rid of that first right the other way is uh, you can see here we have two kinds of elements here under the jet engine section we have this one in black letters and then we have this one in green letters. Now guys, the difference here is that these green ones are the actual fields and the black one is the uh, field groups. So if I drag and drop the whole field group, it will add all of the fields contained in that field group. So it's faster that way, right? So uh, here we are pretty much ready. Uh, you could change this title to maybe uh, name or this is the title, why not? And if you change that, you can see that the column name changes too. So that's pretty neat. And for example, for this date field, you could change its date format using the PHP date format. So uh, for example, right now we have uh, this date format, right? But if you wanted, you could change that to, let's say, D, comma, uh, yeah, F, J, and Y. Let's see what we get with that. And there you go, guys. We have changed our date format. Now you can do that with the time too. So let's do it. Time, and for the time, I'm gonna say G A. Yeah, why not? Let's try with that. All right, so there you go. We have changed our time format. So there you go. That's pretty neat. So you can do all sorts of crazy things here, right? You can uh, even add some custom fields. So if, for example, you didn't have any date time here, right? You could add a field and I'm gonna select custom export field and I'm gonna say this is gonna be called date time, right? So I'm gonna drag and drop my date here and I'm gonna say uh, the date is, right? And the time is, and drag and drop this here, save, preview, and there you go, pretty neat, right? So, uh, I'm going to change the order of this. Cool. And uh, I believe we're ready, actually. So let's just move on. Here we have the export type. And here we could select one of two ways of exporting this data. We could select this spreadsheet format. And here we could select uh, either CSV or one of these two Excel formats. Under the feed section, we could select simple XML feed. And what this means is just using this same format, right? So if I preview, you can see we have the same column names. We can see we have the same data here and whatnot. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you want to get more crazy with your XML format, you can always build your own XML field. Now we have other videos on this, like I said before, guys. So I'm just going to stick with the CSV type here and just continue with my export. Now here guys, we have something really, really powerful, which is the scheduling options. 
Now guys, say you need to export your data for some reason uh, every single day or maybe once a week, right? So you could use our automatic scheduling service, which is a paid service, by the way, it costs $9 a month to schedule this to run, say, every single Monday at 12 a.m., right? So that's pretty cool. Or if you wanted to run this export every single day, you just select that here and only will import will run this export every single day at 12 a.m. Now, you don't need to pay uh, the $9 a month. You can actually go ahead and use the manual scheduling, which is free and use Scrum Jobs, but it's a little bit more technical. So if you need help with this, just contact our support team or click here on this link and you will be taken to our docs on how to run current jobs, right? And what's cool about all of these guys uh, is that you can combine these scheduling options with maybe say Sapier, right? And do some really crazy stuff there. For example, you could uh, use the automatic scheduling or cron jobs to run this every single day at 12 a.m. and have Sapier email you a copy of the file and then, I don't know, send your file to uh, Google Drive or whatever. Just uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, but for this example, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to continue these settings. You can leave them as they are, but they are pretty much self-explanatory. So if you read them, you will know what they do. And if you have more questions, you can hover on the question mark and it will give you a more detailed description of what it does. But if even after that, you still have questions about what this does or how to do X or Y or whatever, just don't worry about it and contact or support them guys. We will be more than happy to help you out. Now, let's just confirm and run this and it will take just a few seconds. So let's wait that. Cool. And then I'm going to download my CSV and see what we get there. Cool, guys. So we have here our title. And as you can remember, we set up the column name to this is the title. So this is working. Then we have our text field. Cool. Date time with the custom values we set up. And then we have here our date, time, text area, and color picker. And here we have. 1,001 rows, minus, of course, this header row that gives us 1,000 records. Now, that was pretty easy, guys. And uh, if you wanted to schedule your export even after you have run it, you can do it here. Or if you wanted to connect that to Sapier, you can do it here too. And if you're interested in this export edit import feature, which you can use with WPL import, you can do that too. But again, we have more videos for that. So if you want to know more about, about that or how to import or export other more complex jet engine data, or maybe if you're using Metabox or ACF to handle your custom fields and post types and whatnot, just check out the other videos in your channel. Check out our website at wplimport.com and you will find all of the info you're looking for right there. Now, guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.